Looking for a gift for that special person? Why not give an Amazon gift card? Design your own. Choose from 20 different occasions. Use your own photo or video. Send by email or text message. Click the link in the description below to get started. Today's episode is called, The Almost Annual Charity Show. Kate Bradley loses her regular post as producer of Hooterville's Almost Annual Charity Show, to her conniving archenemy, Selma Plough. Hawaiian Wedding Song, sung by Mike Minor and Meredith McRae. Stout-Hearted Man, sung by Elvia Allman. Steam, Cinders and Smoke sung by Smiley Burnett and Ruth Davis. I Believe, sung by Mike Minor. Original air date, November 1, 1966. tracks to the junction forget about your cares it is time to relax at the junction lots of curves you bet and even more when you get to the junction petticoat junction there's a little hotel called the shady rest at the junction it is run by Kate, come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that Uncle Joe, he's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. Just see them native blue owls sailing into the sunset on their surfboards. <laughs> Lucky we got this young fellow with us for the almost annual charity show. Oh, yes. I predict that they will be the hit of the evening. Excuse me. Did you say almost annual charity show? Oh, we don't get around to it every year. The last one was three years ago. <laughs> that was the year that Uncle Joe introduced his famous fire-eating act. Oh, they needed a new elk's hall anyhow. <laughs> oh, well, let's all go out and have some apple pie and coffee. You know, with this act to build around, I think this year's show's going to be the best ever. I couldn't be happier. Oh, it's me, Selma Paul. Oh, there goes my happiness. So glad you're all here. I just dropped by to tell you the thrilling news. I am to be in charge of this year's charity show. That's about as thrilling as a cyclone warning. <laughs> You're going to be in charge? Yes. Uh, the committee, under its able chairman, Samuel Drucker, voted my appointment unanimously. Mom, I thought you were putting on the show. Well, I assumed I was. I always have. Well, perhaps this year they wanted a, a professional touch. Well, for you, a professional wrestler? <laughs> Sticks and stones, Mr. Carson. Oh, Steve, you dear boy. I want you to play a prominent part in this year's show. Now, have you ever thought of singing in a duet? Why, yes. As a matter of fact, Billy Joe and I have been rehearsing a number. And they're terrific. 
Yeah, they're very good, Selma. Even though I say it. <laughs> Splendid. Then it'll be even better with the change I have in mind. The change? Yes. Your voice will blend in joyous song with that of my silver-throated daughter, Henrietta. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't understand, Mrs. Plough. I said I've already been rehearsing a number with Billy Joe. Your voice will blend in joyous song with that of my silver-throated daughter, Henrietta. <laughs> or it will not blend at all. <laughs> well? All right, then it won't blend at all. You're refusing? Oh, I think twice about that, young man. You, a newcomer to the valley, refusing to be in the charity show? What, what kind of an impression do you think that will create? Possibly the impression that I can't be bullied by you, Mrs. Cloud. <laughs> Never. Mrs. Cloud, it's all right. Steve will sing the duet with Henrietta. Oh, uh, what? Really, I don't mind. I think it'd be much better with Henrietta. Well, I think it would be... Honest. A... I'd rather have it that way. Well, then it's all settled. Uh, uh, Toodle, everybody. Oh, there'll be another Nelson Eddy and Jeanette McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some men who will stop calling them. <laughs> Oh, she's part right. Henrietta does look a little like Nelson, Eddie. <laughs> oh, hi, Keith. What can I do for you? Explain. Uh, explain what? How Selma Plout got unanimously elected head of the charity show. Oh, well, you just explained it. Uh, she was unanimously elected by the committee. Who's on the committee, Sam? Well, well uh, there's the postmaster and the justice of the peace and the county clerk and the water commissioner. Sam, you are all those things. <laughs> Say, so I am. <laughs> well, that, that makes for a very efficient committee. We don't have much trouble getting together. <laughs> I'm waiting. Uh, well, Kate, it was greed that done it. Greed? Yeah, Selma asked for the job, and I said no. And then she said if I'd appoint her, she'd pay up her entire bill to date in full. <laughs> Those are the magic words, huh? Kate, you don't know how it is to run a store for 30 years and finally have somebody offer to pay their bill in full to date. Why <laughs> dazzles you, huh? Hey, it makes you so lightheaded and giddy, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> then, for your sake, I won't pay up my bill. <laughs> Hi, Kate. I'm already, boys. Well, Kate, service on the cannonball has been temporarily suspended. Yeah, we got to rehearse for our star and roll in Selma Show. Oh. <laughs> now it's Selma Show. Sure, she's even come up with a new title for it. The Wonderful World of Selma Plow. <laughs> Head to Coat Junction will return after these messages. Ladies, everybody! Ladies! Showtime! Showtime! Are you ready, Maestro? A little more on the string. No, not so much in the woodwind. <laughs> Who's she talking to? Well, it beats me. They ain't a soul around. <laughs> No, but I think she's rehearsing. What for? The funny farm? <laughs> oh, there you are. I was just going over the opening number. Uh, all right, people. Take five. That's showbiz talk. <laughs> oh, Kate. Came to see a professional at work, huh? Excellent, my dear. It shows an admirable willingness to learn. <laughs> oh, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to learn at the feet of someone so much older. And why, dear? You're so sweet. <laughs> now, come on, let's get on with the rehearsal. Yeah, we're just down to see what our big important part is. Yeah, you said we had a real big part to show. You have. You have. You come on at the very beginning. Yeah, what do we do? And you stay there throughout. Yeah, what do we do? Everyone will see you. Yeah, what do we do? You carry me on stage. Yeah, what? <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> now, about costumes. You will wear this while bearing me in on my royal litter. Of course you know what role I play. A litter bud? <laughs> I am Cleopatra, queen of the Nile. 
be the sole judge of that. Very well. You may audition. Steam cinders and smoke. Steam cinders and smoke. It's a long, long track, but we're glad we're back to steam cinders and smoke. Steam cinders and smoke. Steam cinders and smoke. A pension plan for a railroad man is a mighty fine thing, they say. And after 20 years, there's a few sad tears when they say, Today's the day. So you fish a little bit, and you hunt a little bit, and you tend a little garden plot. There's a lump in your throat when you hang up your coat And a memory's all you got of a life of steam, cinders, and smoke Steam, cinders, and smoke All right, all right! I'm sorry, but what I'm looking for now is a production number Selma, you are in luck Boys, give us a production number <laughs> Slow, this rack was almost empty. Pretty near sold out till word got around that Selma Plout was running the show. Boy, I sure don't know how she ever wormed her way into this. Want to be reminded? <laughs> no, thank you. I already explained how I couldn't help myself. Oh, there's another one. Getting so I hate to hear that phone ring. Let me get it for you. Dorcas Dork. Oh, hi, Ben. This is Kate Bradley. Uh huh. Yeah, what? Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Ben. Um, you know there are going to be other acts besides Selma. Well, sure, Steve Elliott's going to sing a duet with... No, no, with Henrietta. That's a bad choice. <laughs> what else is going on? Uh, Fred Ziffel. Ben, you're going to love this one. Um, Fred Ziffel and his talented pig Arnold are whipping up a whole new act for this year's show. <laughs> Well, it's, it's kind of top secret. Well, I can tell you this much. Uh, Fred sent all the way to Marine Land to get one of those big rubber balls. And it's so cute the way he can balance it on his nose. <laughs> no, not Arnold. Fred. <laughs> At the end of the act, does the pig throw Fred a fish? <laughs> What'd you say, Ben? Well, all right. But look, would you do me a favor? Would you just show up? And if you're not pleased, it won't cost you a cent. You will? Oh, Ben, would you spread the word around? This deal is the same deal for one and all. Yeah, thanks. Are you running a fever or something? How else are you going to raise money? You're not selling any tickets. At least if we can get them there, we can pass the hat. After they hear Henrietta, we'll be lucky to get the hat back. <laughs> Ever see anything so nauseating? <laughs> I got an idea. We'll slip a little ether in her throat spray, and Uncle then we. Uncle Joe, we are going to do everything we can to make this evening a success. Is that clear? 
Well, it ain't gonna be a success, and you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give a plug nickel for that. You're the only one that's ever made this show a success. You're the only one that'll do it again. I am not running the show this time, so forget it and cooperate with Selma. <laughs> You kids are supposed to be out front, Usher. What's to Usher? Nobody will sit in the front seats. They're all standing in the back for a fast getaway. <laughs> this is going to be the worst flop in Hooterville history. Except for Tommy Bowen. He's making a fortune selling rotten tomatoes outside. <laughs> I wish she'd stay in her dressing room and never come out. Hey, maybe she will. Will you two cooperate? With one of your schemes? It's for a good cause. Is it something low and rotten? To the core. We'll do it. Head to Coat Junction will return after these messages. Good. Hold the curtain! Hold the curtain! Hold the curtain! Selma, where have you been? As if you didn't know. 
But nothing can stop a trooper. The show must go on. Curtain. Up, 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 up. And away. <laughs> If you realize what it takes to put on a show like this, it, it takes every ounce of nerve and strength and energy that a person has. And sometimes the strain is so great that something has to give, and that's what happened to our mistress of ceremony, Selma Plout. She's given so much of herself to this worthy cause that, well, she's lost her voice, and she's unable to provide her part of the evening's festivities. <laughs> I want everyone here to know that Selma Plout has done her level best for this show and for this community. And I want to say here and now that what Selma deserves from all of us is a rising vote of thanks. Now, let's hear it for Selma Plout. Golly, Selma, wasn't it wonderful all them nice things Kate said about you? What's so wonderful about it? I've been saying those same things for you. <laughs> Fine bell ringing, Henry. And don't you worry, anybody can ring a wrong number. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for your wonderful reception of the show. And now, for the piece de resistance, our own Steve Elliott. <laughs> Accompanied by Miss Billy Jo Bradley. of rain that falls, a flower grows. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night, a candle glows.
Now, stay tuned for The Ed Sullivan Show, next on TV Land. Junction.